Well, hello and welcome back to a Cookie Corner of YouTube where I have a supremely messy desk. It's, um, yeah, <laughs> I have lots of things going on all at once on the projects mode at the moment. So, um, hmm, keep cleaning my desk um, and then it's not clean. I need an elf who will clean it through the night for me. And in return, I'll make them some shoes. Let me see if I can find the shoes. <laughs> An elf. You know, of any elves are in need of some shoes. <laughs> These are some I made years ago, but, um, you know, if an elf is willing to come and tidy my desk, I can give it some shoes. Um, okay, so I've got some happy mail, and that's why I've kind of partially cleared my desk. And my thought is this is from the lovely Granny Sue from the Discord channel, from Marty Fartiana's Discord channel, which I hang around in an awful lot and spend an awful lot of money in the Temptations shopping area. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, Sue said she was having a clear out of some of her fabrics and, and would I like some? Would I like some? And I said, yeah, I'm really, really happy if you've got any scraps of things. Um, you know, I'm always, I always get so excited about fabric. And bit, me and Annie are a bit similar. We kind of dribble and <laughs> dribble and get really, really excited about fabric. So um, Sue said she'd send me a, a parcel of some fabrics. So I'm going to open it now and let's see what we've got. Bear with me while I get my cat paw. The sun is streaming into my um, studio again at the moment. Oh, I got a sneaky peeky then. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, <laughs> things. I don't know. I don't know how to do this. Oh, look. look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've got the goosebumpies going on down my arms at the minute. And the dribbling started. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know where to start. <laughs> oh, there's a brown package here too. Oh, interesting. I hope you enjoy these bits and bobs and they can be used in your cuff kits. Oh, isn't she sweet? Thank you, Sue. Some of the yarns were space dyed by myself over 30 years ago. Wow. When I was taking a City and Guild's creative embroidery course. How can you part with them, Sue? <laughs> I've only tackled about a quarter of my stash and will do more at a later date. Thank you for your kindness and support. We'd love Sue. Oh, Sue, thank you so much. And that is going on my inspirations Um wall at the side of me because i actually adore this card it's beautiful <laughs> but then look at these oh my gosh how beautiful i can't, I can't oh oh they're so lovely that feels like liberty that feels like a liberty lawn to me look at this Ah, so these are so beautiful. That's definitely, definitely a Liberty fabric. Oh my gosh. These are just glorious. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that is just my colour and I'm needing some of that at the moment. How did you know? How did you know this? These. Oh goodness. This is beautiful. Oh, so many. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's going to be a whole video of me going, oh, these are just glorious. I am overwhelmed and, and very, very thankful. Sue, these are just lovely. So many things that I can make with these. It's, And she's colour themed them as well. They all seem to be going together in a theme. I hope I'm not ruining it, Sue. Oh, just beautiful. One glorious thing after another. 
and I have got so many ideas running to oh, look at this paisley boy here oh my gosh <sighs> These are, these are stunning, absolutely stunning. Well, I can't I can't thank you enough for this. These are just beautiful, and look at this one. That's going to fit perfectly into something that I'm doing at the moment. Oh my gosh! I'm sure you tuned in for a whole video of me going, "Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh!" If you you had the vision off, you wouldn't be able to see what I was seeing here. And this is glorious. Oh, so many beautiful, beautiful fabric. Is that a laurel birch? Oh, it's a laurel birch. I love laurel birch fabrics. I was obsessed with laurel birch um, many moons ago. Absolutely obsessed. I've got a load of books, um, uh, quilt pattern books and, and design books by laurel birch. This is beautiful. I am a thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly spoilt. Absolutely and unbelievably so. Sue, this is so lovely. Oh, I'm going to sit here all afternoon now stroking all the things. Oh, look at this. Wow. Oh, I've got an idea for that one already again. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is like a wool, tweedy, but most vibrant purple colour in the world. I love it. And there's some threads there as well that I can use for something. Oh, look. Oh, Sue, this is just beautiful. <laughs> like the little sheep. Yes. Oh, look at the little sheepies. Oh, they've got little chicks on top. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Sue, you know me so well, clearly, because I couldn't have picked a better set of fabrics if I did it myself. Oh, some sweeties as well. Mm -hmm. How did you know I've been raiding my cupboards for sweeties and found them? And here I are in <laughs> some fabric. I love Haribo. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's glorious. And now I've got this bag here. Oh. What's in the bag? What? Oh, I feel. Oh, oh no. Oh, yes. <sighs> Some beautiful sequin waste. I do use this a lot when I'm using uh, my jelly plates and doing some printing. Oh, gosh. Oh. <sighs> These are space dyed by Sue herself. Look, DMC, six strand of cottons left over from when I used to space dye them. Sue, you're going to have to give me some tips because this is something that I'm looking into at the minute. I've just bought, from the charity shop, I've just bought a couple of books um, to do with dyeing your own fabrics and threads in plastic bags. I'll, I'll show you that at some point because it looks like a really interesting book. Those are, I can't even. Those are just glorious. Oh, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful threads. What have we got in here? Oh, it sparkles. Oh, some sparkly, bluey, purpley thread. Yes. Again, that's going to go in the project I'm doing at the moment. And this also variegated. Madeiras. I love these Madeiras. I've got a few of these in green, and I think I've run out of my gold one. So perfect timing i can't eat oh there's a <laughs> another sweetie <laughs> i'm going to have fun later with that oh these are lovely oh i like this this is a really beautiful green frog green i love that <laughs> That that reminds me of my tin, my mom, my mom's tin of sewing threads that I uh, used to go through when I was a child. And frog green, though, that's just beautiful. <laughs> that's made me smile. And oh, that's pretty. All the pretty greens. These are lovely. And this, oh, I am 
completely gobsmacked, Sue. These are just beautiful. I, I, I can't even thank you enough. Oh, you know I love bells. <laughs> Definitely going to put them on something pretty. That orange. So you, I don't know how you managed to pick out all these, but these are actually right up my street. Oh, is, this, is this a chocolate lime? It looks like a chocolate lime. I love those. <laughs> Wow, Sue, it just goes on. Look at these beautiful woolen threads as well. I've got quite a few of those from a company called Oliver Twist. Oh, oh look, I love the variegate and this is beautiful. I've definitely got an idea for this already. Everything, every time I pick something up, I get an idea for it. You're just sparking me off with ideas, Sue. So thank you so much. And then we've got these beautiful threads here, which I like this one. It's like a tubing. Is it like, oh, oh look. Ah, oh, now. That is beauteous. So that's like one of the yarns that you can probably make something from uh, knitted wise but you can also and I will probably use this in my um, my collages which I do a little bit of stitch into because this will be beautiful also if I do some needle felting that needs some extra detail on it that is just going to be glorious well Sue thank you so so very much for all of this I can't thank you enough. I've got so many ideas now, so I've got to go and grab my notebook to write them all down because I can't even begin um, to say how happy I am and how much I'm going to sit here all afternoon stroking through these fabrics and just and just making ideas. But I, I'm blown away. I need I need some advice from you, Sue, on how to do some space dyeing. <laughs> I'll be going to see you in the discard. Oh, look at this little tag. I hadn't even noticed. Oh, that is sweet. I love that. That's just beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to sit here and just go ooh and ah for the rest of the afternoon. And I hope you guys will come and join me soon. This is just a little extra video because I was so excited to get the parcel from Sue. And I thought you might like to see it as well. And just to say huge, huge, huge thank you to Sue or Granny Sue in the Discord community um, that has been started by Annie Claxton, Arty Farty Annie. If you look for Arty Farty Annie uh, in the Discord, you will find the Discord group where we all hang out and there's all kinds of rooms in there that you can go and visit and have a really, really good time. Anyway, I will leave a link to it down below in the description so that you can find it and come and join us, <laughs> come and join us, come and join us in the Discord community where we can have a lot more fun together and it's a great place to get to know everybody as well. So I will see you maybe in the Discord community or here on YouTube with something else. See you very soon, bye for now. <laughs>